Mega, mega baby. Yeah. On Destiny's Picky. Welcome to Honestly Speaking. Each week, you ask us to bring your favorite celebrities to answer questions that have been bugging you, and we get them to answer honestly. Now, today's guest is a Ghanaian actor who has acted in several films and commercials, including YOLO. Stay with us as we reveal him right after the break. Oh my God, she wants us to talk about the letter. What do I tell her? Let's just be friends. No, that is straightforward. I would like to be your friend for now. That would be like telling her you don't like her. But she's pretty. Yes, yes, I will be her boyfriend. I want to marry her tomorrow. My name is Mark Anthony Mensah Xavier Ford, aka Mark Jr. and I would love to be your friend. Max, so it's true. What? Upon all the brotherly advice I've been giving to you, you still snitched on Flex. No, no, that's not what happened though. That's what everyone is saying. <laughs> what have I done? The way the seniors have mean you in. What have I done? My parents came to visit me, I saw Flex person, and they could tell I wasn't myself. So they asked me and I told them what happened. Are you pan? Did you have to really tell them what happened? Could have just made something up. Listen, I can't lie to my parents too. Yes, your harm has been done right. But you have to be very careful. But is it you are speaking English like that? Or if you guys say they speak blank. Hi. Hey, happy birthday. Thank you. This song about to play is going all the way from Mark Anthony to the birthday girl Ariana. Enjoy this song. That's my favorite song. Really? That's why I told the DJ to play as soon as he sees both of us. Let's go and dance. Which of the ebony condoms do you want? I, I don't know. Welcome back. I have Kelvin Brun, aka Mark Anthony of Yellow Fame, here with me. Mark, welcome. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. How are you doing? I'm blessed. Yeah. How's today? What's the vibe like? How are we feeling? I'm feeling good. Today's today's a beautiful day. Yeah. I believe this is the first time that we are having a conversation outside of Yolo, outside of the premieres and stuff. So I'd like to get to know you a little bit. Tell me about yourself. You know, who are you? So, um, my name is Kelvin. Actually, my full name is Jens Kevin Bratulis Brunas Wilson. Yeah, my dad is not Ghanaian. Yeah. Where, where is he from? Okay, so yeah, Swedish. Yes. Oh, Switzerland. Okay, okay. But my mom is a Ghanaian. Okay. And basically been in the industry for a while. Before even Jolo, I was doing this advert commercial stuff for Nigeria and OK Pop and stuff. So. But how did that come to be? Was it just something that you were just doing? Or? OK, my mom was into the industry. She used to be in the Kumawe industry. She's oh. called Tracy. Tracy what? Fabia. OK. Yeah. She's been in the industry for a while. So I was shooting with her before I glitched into that. OK, what about education? Where did you grow up? What town did you grow up? Um. OK, I was in Accra. Right. Yeah. And basically, I was homeschooled. For most of your education? Starting from my essays, I was homeschooled. Yeah. And, yeah. homeschooled. and would you say that has affected your social life? Because I, I, I was also homeschooled for a bit. And then it was it's good because I was moving forward very quickly. But then I didn't have a lot of friends. Made me a, kind of like a loner. I'm a, I'm a shy type, so. Right. And I don't actually like people around me. Right. I always like to be alone because I find it difficult to compare my right. opinion to right. others. So, right. yeah. YOLO is kind of like the biggest role that you, you got, aside all your commercials and stuff that you were doing. I'm assuming that YOLO is where, like, there was a big break, right? How did that happen? So, 
I was in school. Yes. When I had a call from my uncle. I didn't know I was even coming here. He just yeah. called me saying there was this shoot. He wants me to go audition. Right. right. About, so picked me up from school. Yeah. We went. So when we yeah. called, I auditioned and yeah. here I am. And then you got it instantly and it was just a hit. It was just a hit. And everyone loves you. Yeah, I think you and ODK, aside some other characters, are crowd favorites. That's what I've come to realize. Anyways, and aside YOLO, what else are you interested in? What do you do with in your free time? I should advert a lot. Yeah. When it comes to advertisements, it's like that's my main priority. I, I shoot most adverts for most other productions and yeah. stuff. Yeah. I shot OK Pop, Milo, yeah. Peg Biscuit. Halipo. Yeah. The advert is just coming up and down. Yeah. That's what I mostly do during my free time. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. Doing all of these things that you're doing, would you say that is had a positive impact on you? Would you say that um, this is exactly what you want to be doing with your life? And so this is happy? this is exactly what I want to be doing with my life. Yeah. Yes, because um it has changed my life absolutely. Yeah. It makes things easier for you as a person. In what ways, if I may ask? <laughs> Maybe I'm going to buy watch it and I get there, they're like, bra bra me So is there anything else that you'd like to tell me about you? Because I feel like, like you're shy. <laughs> I like singing too. Yeah. I used to do song in school. Yeah. Yeah, but right now I'm just focusing on Why? Why not? Um, I feel like I want to be in my lane. Just I want to do what I'm doing now and focus on what I'm doing now. Yeah. Not to just bring other stuff. But you could pick, you could do it on the side. You don't necessarily have to say, oh, I'm a singer. So because you sing, you know, you can do it for fun and still stay in your lane. I don't want fighting attention. Cyril is singing. Yeah, Cyril is singing. I saw the video. It was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so would you say Cyril is not staying in his lane? He's definitely in his lane. Yeah. So then, then why can't you sing? I'll think about it. You think about sure. it. So the next time that you're on here, maybe my track. track will be on yeah, 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 okay. for sure. Book me for your video shoot. Book me, book me, that. please. I'll book me. I'll do that. I yeah, sing something small for me. Give me freestyle. Think about me right now. Look at me, and then like give me a freestyle. Um, okay. <laughs> Woo! Let me see my ring. So it goes like, um. I met this fine girl at the beach side. She's pretty, she's fresh, she looks like the sky. I kind of take it out of my mind. I'm thinking so okay. loud. That's it. What's going to be your stage name? Probably Kelvin. Kelvin Brun. Kelvin Brun. Yeah. KB. 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 I think KB is just KB. Yeah? Okay. I love this. This is so nice. We've literally just unmasked talent right here. <laughs> Honestly speaking. It was so nice getting to know you, but I need to get to the most important part of this show, which is honestly speaking, your fans have prepared some questions. I was reading a co um, the comments in all the YouTube videos that we posted. We read all your comments. So we read all of them and we have brought everyone that you asked for. So they asked for you to prepare some questions for you. And when we come back from the break, you'll be honestly speaking. Be speaking honestly. Are you ready? For sure. I'm, I'm absolutely ready. All right, guys, stay with us and we'll be back right after the break.
Welcome back. It's time for Mark to speak honestly. Now, I don't want to waste anyone's time. Let me get straight to it. 14 very, very hot questions and you need to speak honestly. You need to promise. Put your hands up like this and be like, I promise to be honest. Okay, I promise to be honest. Yeah. yeah? Sure. Okay, sure. got it. So the first question is um, from Sandra. She's an accustomed boy and she wants to know your favorite thing about being famous. As I said earlier on, going to buy watch it and they'll be like, yo, Brahma 7, blah, 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 hey, hey, hey. You understand? It gives you a lot of privilege as a person. Yeah. The next question, Sandra still wants to know if, if you weren't famous or if you weren't an actor, who would you be right now? What would you be up to? Okay, so... I studied science in school, so it's, right. it's medicine I was going to do. My mom wanted me to become a doctor. What kind but of what kind of doctor? What field? Medical doctor. Like like a surgeon or like or like a full the one a that full you go medical. to do the hey. yeah, yeah that's like it would have looked nice on you. Of course, of course. Yeah, you're a cute guy. For sure. Imagine you being a doctor. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Anyways, next question. Acel, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Forgive me if I'm not. SL or ASL from Cantamanto wants to know if you're a timid person in real life considering your character in YOLO. Um, okay. As for my character in YOLO, I'm the same person in real life. I'm a very quiet person. I don't like a lot of people around me. Right. I just like to keep my opinion to myself. Right. Yeah. That. So you think that's part of the reasons why you've been able to kill that character? For sure. So well. Okay. I hope that answers your question, SL. ASL. Um... For the fourth question, Enoch from Accra, Newtown, wants to know how the reception has been from family and friends since YOLO. Um, okay, it's been amazing. I would say it's amazing because, I mean, the family always like, you know, hey, hey, Kelvin, hey, Kelvin. And the support that they are giving me, right, yeah. you understand, the support they're giving me is amazing. Both family, friends, fans, everyone is just amazing. Yeah. For the fifth question, Enoch, again, wants to know who you marry or make as a side chick and turn into a girlfriend between Queen, Ariana, and Tilly. So who are you going to marry? Who are you going to make a side chick? And who are you going to make a girlfriend? So, is this easy? Really? Very easy. I thought it was, what? <laughs> this is easy. I'll marry... You're offended. <laughs> <laughs> I'll marry Tilly. Okay. Ariana will be my girlfriend. Okay. Then Queen will be mine. Why? That's how I see faith. No explanation. no explanation. It's just the way it is. Are you sure you're a good boy or a bad boy? I'm a good boy. You're a good boy. <laughs> it's very hard to believe. Boy. Do you think he's a good boy? Comment. <laughs> <laughs> the sixth question, Oparibia from Ibri wants to know one of the funniest misconceptions you've ever received from a fan or your fans. One day I went to this restaurant. I yeah. was eating. Yeah. And when someone is eating, you don't have to, I mean, come to yeah. the person. Else. But yeah. this fan... Came to me and was like, Charlie Mark, stop digging in your chat picture and I had when they didn't watch it. And I was like, bro, no, you don't know have to do it. Yeah. And he kept on until so I took the picture with him before he left. Yeah, that's not cool, guys. Please have some decorum, decorum. You get me? <laughs> Number eight, Derby from Christian Village wants to know the vibes between you and ODK Offset. And when was the last time you met him? Okay, so the vibe between ODK and I Offset is like normal friends. We chat on WhatsApp. We don't normally meet though. Uh, we are always keeping in touch online stuff, but we met, we met at the more recently. Yeah, to hang out or? No, we went for a movie. a movie. So you guys are cordial, nice. Cool. Debbie again wants to know if you accept a cheating partner back. If so, why? Oh, wow. Okay. Now, so far as you've cheated, that's so. Even if the circumstances were. No, no, I should be enough. Like, bro. Yeah. What if tables were reversed? Would you expect your partner to take you back if you cheat on 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 them? As in this is my current situation. Yeah, like of right course, now. Of course, of course. He has to take me back or yeah. yes. So in this your current situation, so if your partner cheated on you, would you take them back? No. What makes you more special? Um, I think I'm Minnie's choice. So you having me, you should, you know. Yeah. But me No, no. No. Yeah. You should understand, like, you know, I'm a man, you're a female, and, you know. Would you agree that that's just you being selfish? It's okay to it's be selfish. It's not being selfish. You being selfish doesn't mean you're a bad person. It's just that you are selfish. So would you agree that that's you being selfish? Let's say that. Yeah. Okay. okay. 
Next question, number nine. Sammy from La Paz wants to know how you joined YOLO and landed the role of Mark Anthony. I think we explained that earlier. Yeah. yeah. My uncle came picking me in school, yeah. driving me for audition. Yeah. 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 And Papa from Mataheko wants to know how you feel about sex on the first date. Sex on the first date is not good. You have to get to know the person first. Right. Take it out. Yeah. Like what we're doing. Yeah. Sit, get to know the person yeah. before you take a step. Yeah. Sex so on so if you went on a date with a nice lady, calm vibes, and she was the one who in like wanted to like she was down for that kind of vibe, would you say, Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah why not? Um Yes, I might. You might. Because she's insisting. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. But for me, I'll keep my distance and try yeah. to know you first. Yeah. For sure. Right. Fair enough. <clears throat> and also use protection. Let's not forget to use protection, guys. Protection is very important. Don't I, tell me I'm working out with protection. Stop it. There's no I have, way. I have actually condoms here. No. For protection. I no, cannot there, believe A lot this. of diseases out there. I since... <laughs> there are a lot of diseases out there. You have to protect yourself. And first of all, you guys should learn one thing. Is that when it comes to condoms, yeah. you don't put it in a back pocket, sit on it, or crumple it. What can happen to it? It will end up breaking? Yes. Uh, and you can get so disease. Good. Yeah. So that's it's, so it's even better not to even use it. So you have to keep it in a safe place, you know, always to be in this. Place. I'm so impressed. Like, I'm genuinely impressed. Like, For sure. <laughs> like, maybe on you to go see someone, to visit someone's house, mm -hmm. it makes sense. But to a show, Janet's from Dakuman wants to know some of the things you tell ladies about yourself to impress them. <laughs> oh, I want to know, I want to know, I want to um, know. I'll be like, look at me. What? Look at me. Okay. Am I nice? Yeah. That's so. That's it? That's so. That's your vibe? That's my vibe. And it works on the if, time? If I'm nice for you, that's so. But I, I feel like that's my fair statement because nobody will look at you and be like, you're ugly. You know, so if you be like, am I nice? Of course, I'll be like, yeah. I use that vibe a lot. Yeah. And I also use opening of water. So you open the water for them? Like, you know, get a water open. Ah! <laughs> because that thing has been doing me. If someone opens water for me, I'll be like, oh. ah. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. I see. So you're a player. Nice to know. Janet, that's the kind of guy that he is. And so now you know. Don't be fooled. <laughs> Princess from... Bukum said she's crashing on you, but also wants to know which celebrity you would want to meet the most. Ah, she's crashing on you. Um, is it male or female when it comes to celebration? Uh, but anyway. I think maybe. No, she just said which which celebrity you would want to meet the most. So I think maybe it's just in general. We're scared. We're scared? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, I see. Star Wars. I see. <laughs> you okay. <laughs> All right. And for the final question of this segment, Al Alale from Tulaco wants to know how old you are. I'm 20 years. Yes? Really? I don't believe you. Do you guys believe he's 20? You think this guy is 20? I don't believe you, man. If you think he's 20, say something. If you don't say something, we'll bring him here to tell you how old he actually is. But I'm actually 20. I don't believe you. I'm sorry. <laughs> next time you come, you need to bring your passport. Best, like... Something, I don't believe you. That's just it. We'll just leave it at that. Guys, that's how we end this segment. We'll go on a quick break. When we come back, we have rapid fire. Welcome back. Rapid Fire is next. I'm still here with Mac Anthony from YOLO. Are you ready for some Rapid Fire? Ready. Yeah? So 10 solid questions. This is just like a yes or no, quack, quack, quack. Don't take too long to think about it. Otherwise, you take away the joy of okay. your fans. Okay. You just have to answer. Answer. Sure. Honestly. For sure. Okay. One. Would you rather have endless money or endless love? Endless money. Endless money. Yeah. You're not a love person. You know, Tilly, um, Tilly, if Tilly was here, she chose love. That's why I said I'll marry her. Really? So you have the money she has a love. Perfect combo. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Next one. Would you rather sleep alone or with someone next to you? Um, With someone next to me. 
Is it just someone random or someone that you love or you just don't mind any random person? Someone that I like, you? I love. Yeah? Yeah. Do you love somebody? Um, Of course. Yeah, somebody you like? Oh, we need to pass. So, <laughs> who do you like? Um, yeah. I'll keep that to myself for now. Oh, stop it. <laughs> How can you do that? I'll keep that to myself. Okay, is it someone that we know? No. Is it someone that is like in the media? No. Is it like a low-key person? A low-key person. Is she, is she a Ghanaian? Yeah, she's a Ghanaian. She lives in Ghana. She lives in Ghana. How old is she? She's 18. Where does she go to school? I want to keep that one to ah! myself. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Guys, please, if you want Mark to come next time to talk about his girlfriend, comment, say something in the comment section. Let's bring this guy back. I'm so interested. I really want to know. So please. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go back to rapid fire. The third one. Hey, it's so straightforward. Queen or Ariana? Ariana. Ariana? Yes, Ariana. Okay, I'll take that. Fourth one. Everyone can read your thoughts or everyone can access your internet history. Which one would you rather? Read my thoughts. Read your thoughts. Why? What's in your internet history? I will keep that one to myself. Oh, you don't do that. You're here to speak God. honestly. No, Why are you when doing it comes, that? When it comes to the internet, people search a lot of things. You know, it's your phone. What if you don't have anything to hide? Okay, I have, I have stuff to hide. Stuff yes. like what? Personal stuffs. Hey. Oh. <laughs> it's giving frisky. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I feel like you're definitely coming back here because I don't, you're not answering me the way I want, but it's not up to me. It's up to the fans. So if you guys feel the same way I feel, say something. Five. Would you rather never age physically or never age mentally? Physically. Physically, yeah, because who wants to be old and gray and just dying? Bro. <laughs> so you'll be immature forever. Probably. Yeah? We love that. We love immaturity. Cheers to immaturity. <laughs> uh, would you rather have money but no control or control but no money? Money but no control. Money but no control. How do you have money and no control anything? I feel like money controls so many things. Of course. Yeah. But money and no control. Okay, got it. Um, would you rather kiss in the dark or kiss in the rain? I'll kiss in the rain. She kiss in Why? You catch a cold, though. No. Imagine, imagine having a romantic just, session with your partner and you have a cold and cough. Imagine kissing someone in the dark and just imagine they kissing someone in the rain. Like, bro. Me, I, you know what? I can, I can, I can respect okay. the pros, the prospects okay. of the aesthetics. Okay. But I feel like in that moment, me darkness but this is not my interview okay we'll take it we'll, i respect i respect the rain the reason i'm saying rain is i've not had that encounter before you haven't so you so like to yeah okay i mean that's you being honest so i sure. respect that yeah um you have two more would you rather marry the hottest person alive or the smartest person alive ding 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 I think I think it will be the smartest person alive. That's a wise choice. Yeah, sure. That's a smart choice to choose the smartest. For sure. <laughs> yeah, because a smart person can get you money, can get you things, can give you a happy life. But this person gets stressed, so you just be fighting people anyhow. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And for the final one, final, final, final one of today. Let's all drink up. Mm -hmm. Would you? Rather always get stuck in traffic or always have a slow internet connection? Wow. I think the internet connection. Yeah? Yeah. You would rather have slow internet yes. connection than always get stuck in traffic? Of course. Yeah, you know what? I'm like anti-anti-traffic. Like, I, I would rather have slow internet than... Tra Oof! Imagine. Yeah. Ghana. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree with him on that. That's That's a lovely way to end today's segment now before Perfect. we leave is there anything that you are working on is there anything that you want to tell your fans people that okay, are supporting so you out there i'm working on my own series coming out soon oh wow in love with a pizza boy okay that's interesting you yes. want to speak a little bit about it what's it about we just started shoot last week and okay. probably by two months one month time we'll be done with the yeah. whole 13 episodes yeah at least three months oh wow wow that's impressive that's sure. impressive so I should be looking out for that. Yeah, we'll look out for that. It'll be coming soon. Yeah. Is there any other thing that you want to add? And look out for more advertisement. Yes. Yeah, I'm coming. Yeah. 
Now, before you leave, um, I, you know, your dad on set, Mr. Vincent, unfortunately, you know, passed away due to illness. And I'm, I'm assuming that must have taken a serious toll on you. How, how have you been and how is that going to affect your role? So actually, when I heard it the first day, I thought it was a media blog or something. Our blogger is trying to just blog. Until I made a call and I realized it was true, my heart was broken. It was really sad. Um, actually, that day, I didn't go out. I was in those that whole time. Just trying to mourn. I guess you're just, your character in, in Yolo is just going to have to be a sad person. <laughs> for Without his father. Your father yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. But um, he, we hope, you know, we hope that um, wherever he is, he's at peace. And for sure. We love and respect him so much. Of course. And we will always, always miss him and always hold him in high esteem. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Un until until we all meet again, we'll just say this is our own little bye bye, you know, to Mr. Vincent. Oh, sure. this is sad. Anyways, let me let you leave. It's so sad that I have to let you leave on a sad note. Mm -hmm. But it is what it is. Thank for you sure. so much for coming and Thank you too. I'll see you when I see you. I'll also see you when I see you. Okay. <laughs> And that's how we draw the curtains on today's episode of Honestly Speaking. A special thank you to Kelvin Brun, a.k.a. Mark Anthony. A special thank you also goes to La Palm Royal Beach Hotel and Afro Lounge for providing us with a space to conduct our interviews. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the link, and comment who you want to see next. Until next time, bye. <laughs>